What up, dog homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grant Tizzle, and I'm back bringing mad gifts to the masses. Today, we're going to do another micro tutorial, as I promised. I said we're going to do one every 30 days. Today, what we're going to learn how to do, fam, is take this image and turn it into this image. And it's primarily the cartoon effect. Some like to call it the cartoon effect 2.0 or whatever you may want to call it, but it's the cartoon effect. And I'm going to show you the uh, situation. I'm going to show you how we put it together. And it's really simple. Now, again, if you want to skip past the 30 days that might turn into two months, you can go straight over to todaysbeast.com and pick up the training course here. And in this tutorial, we get into explicit detail about everything, as you can see. These are just a few samples of what you're going to learn. Now, it's over 10 hours of um, training, so y'all got to, you know what I mean, really had the mindset right. But I'm telling you, once you get these type of skills under your belt, believe you me, the money going to come rolling in. All right. So anyway, that's a little uh, shameless promotion because you know how I get down. But anyway, I'm going to show you a few techniques on how we can get this accomplished. All right. So the first thing we're going to do here, here, let's go ahead and move you. We'll just talk to you later. All right. There go more money, more money, boy. Okay. Now check it out. Uh, uh, first thing we're going to do here is I like to saturate the image. So we're going to go to adjustment, go to levels, and we adjust the levels a little just to make uh, things kind of pop a little, whatever. I like to bring that up bring up the contrast and then I like to add some saturation to it so let's go ahead and add some saturation okay and that really adds to the cartoon the cartoonish look in effect all right the other thing I like to do is go to this filter called topaz so topaz labs and I like to use topaz clean 3 and it gives you these different things here the vector effect you know flat texture but we're going to go with cartoon detail now before we go any further let me show you something they get a 30-day free trial and this is where you can go here you got a 30-day free trial, no credit card, no commitment, and you can test it out, and you can actually utilize this while you're learning. Go over to www.topezlabs.com and pick up the, in particular, the one we're using. It's uh, clean, all right, and um, and that's that. I just dropped a little dime, so make sure y'all go check that out. There are some other tutorials uh, we're going to talk about uh, where you get your brushes from, where you get the different fonts from, and things like that. Anyway, we're going to concentrate on this. Now, right here, what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in on here and do some minor adjustments here so I can get this to my liking. Okay, now that's okay. Now, sometimes you can just kind of take these and run, but I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to adjust my strength down. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to adjust some, turn my threshold down, threshold, and I'm going to turn my radius up. And that's going to give me a little something. Now, we, now we're now we looking to kind of distort this in a way where um, we can kind of repair it. So it's kind of like a destroy, repair relationship. And that's how you kind of look at it. You want to destroy it to the point where it's really kind of exaggerated. Bring up the texture a little. Let's see what we had. Okay, maybe. And the, this is very subtle. This uh, the texture effect. It's subtle, but I still like to utilize it. Bring this up maybe to like 348 or something like that. Okay, that's cool. The idea, fam, is to kind of put a distortion to it so that we can actually go in there and clean it back up. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll just accept this for the sake of tutorial. We can sit there and tweak it all day long. Okay, so right now we're good. Now I'm going to do something right now just to kind of add a little bit of extra drama. I'm going to add a sky. And I had already picked out a sky. Hopefully I can find it again. And uh, we're going to use that sky. Here, let me preserve some time. I'm just going to find it copy it and paste it okay fam um i had to find the sky and re reposition it to make sure that it matched this and you know all that type of stuff okay so anyway now let's go ahead and finish uh we're going to come back to the sky we're not going to worry about that sky right now right now we're going to continue to develop him so the thing to do fam and there's a few different methods on how people clean up his face but i like to and what i find better is i like to use the blur tool 
So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because we're not gonna blur it all the way, but we're gonna kinda try to bring the realism back to them. Now, the good thing about it, once you add this topaz effect, it's gonna be impossible to bring the realism back. And that's part of the whole cartoon effect all in itself, okay? Um, so what we like to do here is kind of blur things. I'm gonna turn this down to be a little bit more detail. And uh, we kind of um, kind of blur away these artifacts, what I like to call them artifacts. Uh, the cartoon effect adds this certain type of artifacts and to give your image that particular um, mixtape look in particular, especially, is to actually add these artifacts just to purposely take them away. And uh, the blend kind of knocks the edge off of the detail. These artifacts uh, uh, converts detail and it kind of exaggerates it or posterize it for lack of better words. So our job is to go in here and kind of smooth things a little bit back. Not too much though. You want to keep a lot of things kind of raggedy looking, ugly looking, distorted. Um, that adds to the uh, to the effect. Now this is a, a, a you know one of my techniques. Uh, there's a few other artists out there. Sorry about that. There's a few other art, other artists out there that kind of like to use different techniques. But I like my technique. To, it, it's much faster and it's just as efficient. All right. So um so what I'm gonna do so that we can preserve some time. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just cleaning up these distorted lines. Not all of them. Just a little bit. Right. Once we get a little bit, then uh, we we capture that look without um, removing the integrity of the particular person that we're working on. All right. So let me pause this. You already know what I'm doing. I'm going to just to preserve some time. Now, as far as the tattoos, we don't touch the tattoos. We work around the tattoos. Got to keep the tattoos in detail. All right. Just work around the tattoos and um, and uh, things of that matter. All right. So I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning up, then we're gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you the other technique that we use to really add and, and enhance this cartoon effect. Okay, so now we got it all kind of worked out. Now the other tool we like to use is um, uh, maybe sharpen. Sometime I'll use sharpen. So we're zooming in, just use this ever so, you know, slightly. We just kind of just uh, enhance the details of specific areas like the nose and the eyes, things like that. Not too much, though, because we want to keep it, um, you know, keep it cartoonish. OK, so that's OK. That's good for now. That's 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 passable. Now, the, what really adds punch to it is the dodge and burn tool. Now, what the dodge and burn tool does is it exaggerates the exposure. So, for example, if I want to expose these parts, then I'll hit it with the the, the dodge and and that and that lightens up and it adds that dimension to the the subject you know it adds a, a lot of dimension it you know that shine kind of give it a dramatic dramatic look now I might be kind of overdoing it right now but for the sake of the tutorial you kind of grasp it here and I find spots that can be uh, lightened up and I enhance it and that kind of give it a HD look. It, it gives it that, you know, that uh, high dynamic range special effect. Even if when I find things like the shine of the arm, then I'll use the, the exposure tool or, or for lack of better words, the dodge tool and, and use it to lighten up highlights uh, like this vein, for example. So I'm going to zoom in and, um, and we're just going to pull the highlights up in this vein here. See? So what we're doing is we're overexposing what's already light. Now it's not going to work on dark. It's only going to work on light. Although you can use it to lighten up dark spots, but um, this kind of just adds that true cartoon effect, right? Then once we do this, then we go over to the infamous here. Let me put some exaggerated lines in these de details here. So you see what it's doing? It's only it's, it's exaggerating the lines here. Okay, that's good. And then we go to a burn tool. And what burn tool does is it darkens up uh, some highlights. So we kind of add some shadow to it. So I kind of overemphasize a little bit on uh, shadows here. If you got a little something on his cheek, sometimes I may just touch it or whatever, you know. And you use discretion uh, on your own. Now I kind of do it, I kind of take an artistic approach, almost kind of like I'm painting 
Um, but you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be an artiste. You don't have to be a pro to, you know, use your eyes. All you're doing is enhancing the shadow. That's really, that's all it is. That's the summary of it. You're just enhancing the light highlights and enhancing the shadows. Okay, so this, this is good here. Hey, let me do this. Because certain looks just really add to it. So we're just going to, wherever we see a highlight, we're really going to emphasize on it. All right, and that pretty much does it uh, for that. Now, it's not quite exactly this right here. You know, this look a little bit more grungy and, you know, dynamic. But it's the same, uh, the same principle. It's the same principle. It's just based on how much time you spend on it. That's pretty much it, fam. That's how you create the uh, cartoon effect. And um, by utilizing topaz and doing uh, smoothing out those rough edges and then using uh, dodge and burn to bring contrast to the highlights and also exaggerate contrast on the shadows. Now with all of that done, I would double check on the adjustment for levels and I can see, I'll see if I can kind of, yeah, make it a little bit more because you want it to look kind of fake and real at the same time. So I'll adjust my levels just a little bit just to add some drama to it. All right, and now let's get to the sky real quick. And this is very brief. Actually, this is literally a, a, a complete and totally different tutorial. So I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail, but I'm just going to show you a few magic tricks. I really like to pop the color there, really oversaturate it. Uh, we go over to filter and we just apply the topaz that's been applied to him. That way we ain't got to go in there and tweak it and twerk it. And uh, what I like to do is for the sky, go over here to dodge and burn. And we're going to brighten up the brights. Like I already said, we'll brighten that up. And there's a reason why we're going to be doing that. All right. So we're just uh, heightening up the highlights. We're just heightening it up. All right. We're going to come back in here and do some other things. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. And let's brighten that up. We brighten it up. We just brighten up the highlights. That was a mistake there, but we're going to ignore that because there's some other things we're going to do. Um, and then we're going to, I'm going to add a light there. Now, now let me show you what I'm talking about. But when I say we use this to uh, add high exposure to the light here, we're going to create a light so that we can have something to glare over his shoulder. All right. So we're going to kind of create something, right? And then let's go in here and uh, we'll pick a brush and we'll pick a, maybe a rugged brush here, something like that. And um, I'll put some white in there. I'll put some white in there. Okay. And then uh, maybe we'll go in here and let me smudge it first or blur it. We'll blur some things. Okay, and then I'll go in here and um, we'll do some smudge tools so that we can kind of smudge, um, uh, smudge that together a little and then we'll do the blur tool, kind of blur that in. Okay, and then, and then this is going to be fine for what I need to do. So now what I'm going to do is add these glows. So let's add another layer and I'm going to show you a very powerful, powerful thing that can really make this pop. We go to our layer, we go to screen. Now you already learned this. These are the glow, glow effects. You learned this already. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you another little fun little technique I like to use that really make things pop. So you go in here and let me make sure we got to pick the brush. Uh, let's blow that brush up. And now we got the glue. So we didn't took, we didn't created a little cloud in there. All right, so we got that. And then let's do the method, what I was saying by shrinking it drawing it in close, making it hotter and make it ever so hot, making it shrink and like really making it hot. Like the, the closer we get to the center, the brighter the blue is. Okay. All right. So now we got that and we're going to add a few more at other places. So we're going to do uh, orange. I'm going to start off dark here, really bright. So we got that glow going on. We got that glow here, got that glow there. A little glow there, maybe. Okay, there. And then we'll do the shrink method again. A little lighter, shrink down. So we're really getting that feel. Like it really feel like he he's really there. And then we get higher. 
And I apologize if this tutorial went a little too long. I actually wanted to keep it really shorter than this. Uh, I'll try next time. Some of this information just is impossible to really um, put it short. Let me back that up because that's not the idea. That's the idea right there. Okay, so we got some some fair bleed here. Okay, now something I like to do. Watch what happens here. I'm gonna go to image adjustment and go to levels and adjust the levels and see how you really tighten up. See how we darken it so we, we really make it really punchy. And then we turn this up and we make it really truly hot. Like it's some real true light behind them. See how that works? And then we can possibly here, let's let's make another layer and go back to screen and um, get some dark just so we can make it a little bigger with the brush being and yeah, got that that there you see what's happening here you see what's happening and so we put that under that way we can control the opacity and how much glow is around them all right fam so that's the jewel for today i hope you benefited from this go ahead and pull up some images and just have fun check check out the styles the techniques and apply it to your own material now stay tuned tomorrow for a new one and if you have any um pointers or you have any suggestions just let me know in the comment box other than that i will be bringing you the madness day by day for the next 30 days all right and again if you want to skip right ahead and learn the madness then make sure y'all click on the link I'll, ma I'll make sure I provide the link and you can just get all of this information right there, right now, instant download and learn. And it's over 10 hours of uh, session. So not only do you learn little jewels and gems like this, but you learn other intricate details and, and mindset. And, and you just learn so much stuff. I can't I, I can't possibly put it all in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just too much time. And I don't want to take up all your time. I already took up 17 minutes of your time. Jeez. But thank you for watching. It's your homie Grand Tizzle. Until the next time i see you in a minute i see you when i spin it make sure you subscribe like dislike it all it all matters comment and um share show me grand tizzle to the next time see you in a minute see you in a minute Peace. anything is possible if you can think it you can do it the only limitation the only obstacle is your brain if you believe it you can achieve it if you don't you won't it's just that simple. We at Red Media Art understands this, but we encourage you to do more than just learn. We at Red Media Art want to push you, inspire you, invoke you to shoot beyond what you believe is possible. We understand the true secrets of success, the way the mind works in learning environments, how the brain releases dopamine each time you learn something new and how you can change your life simply by changing your mind and sticking to it. We not only train you in developing a skill, but we also train you in developing a mindset, helping you to become far beyond your own abilities and help